Let's go to the Very Quiet Cricket exhibit to learn insects' names and sounds. Watch until the end to make your own Very Quiet Cricket. Let's go! Cows. Hello Cubs, I'm Mr. Albie. What's this? There's a cricket here. It was very quiet and I almost sat on it. It must be quiet because it's shy. Actually, this cricket is from a book by Eric Carr called The Very Quiet Cricket. Have you read this book before? No. Let's find out more about this cricket on the interactive Very Quiet Cricket story wall. The Very Quiet Cricket book is about a baby cricket that meets all these different insects that make wonderful sounds. The cricket meets this cicada or cicada which makes this magnificent sound. The baby cricket tries to say hello and make a sound by rubbing its body parts together but it can't make any sounds. It's very quiet. The very quiet cricket also meets some mosquitoes which make this great sound. Wowza! The very quiet cricket tries to say hello too. But it doesn't make a sound. Maybe you can try and encourage the cricket. Rub your hands together at home to encourage the quiet cricket. Ah. Oh, it's still very quiet. Our very quiet cricket also meets this animal. What is it? Bee! It's a bee! And the bee makes this great sound. Buzz! Right! And the cricket tries to say hello. It tries to rub its legs together and body parts and wings. Oh, but still no sound. Mm. The very quiet cricket then meets this flying animal and it is a dragonfly and it makes this sound vomp, vomp. <laughs> but the very quiet cricket can't make any sound at all oh let's try and click our fingers like this to encourage the the baby cricket oh it rubs its legs and body parts together still no sound ah oh. The very quiet cricket then meets this tiny spittle bug. Oh, but even this little bug can make a sound like this. Wow, it sounds like popping bubbles. But the very quiet cricket is really worried. Let's encourage it to make a sound by making fair claps with our fingers. Like this. You try at home. The very quiet cricket tries to rub its legs and wings and body parts together but still, oh, no sound. Even the stars can make twinkling sounds but the cricket can't make any. Oh, the very quiet cricket then sees a beautiful lunar moth. It has green wings with beautiful patterns. It doesn't make any sound but just silently flies away and swooshes its wings like this. Whoa. The cricket looks at it in awe. The very quiet cricket was about to lose all hope. It didn't think it would make a sound ever until it met another cricket that was very quiet too. The very quiet cricket really wanted to make a friend, so it tried its best to make a sound. It rubbed its wings together, its body and its legs. Finally, it did it! It made a sound! Let's hear it! Chirp, chirp, chirp. Ah, oh, and that sound was the most beautiful sound that the other cricket had ever heard. Chirp, chirp. Chirp, chirp. The very quiet cricket learned how to make sounds, found its voice and confidence. Let's make our own crickets that make sounds too. 
If you want to make your own very quiet cricket, just like the one in the book, all you need is a toilet roll and paint it green for the body. Then get cardboard for the legs and the head. You want to cut them out into the shape of cricket legs and you'll want to cut out a triangular shape for the head with some points at the bottom for the mouth. Then get orange pipe cleaners and bend it for the long antennas for the head. For the eyes, get red pipe cleaners wrapped in round and round for the circular eyes. Then get scissors and sticky tape and cut out black circles for the cricket's pupils. Then you'll have a very quiet cricket. Problem is, he's too quiet. So you can actually open up the mouth just like this and add some things inside so he can chirp chirp and make all other kinds of sounds. Let's experiment. I wonder what these different materials sound like. Let's put each of them inside the cricket's tube-like body. And the tube-like body is just like the tube of a slide. We'll start first with this white rice. And pour it down. Oh, it's cricket's body. Um, 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 um. Eating it up. Oh, let's try pouring it down. Now we've actually blocked the back of the cricket's body with more cardboard so it stays in. Keep pouring down the rice inside the cricket's mouth. Down its body. Ah. Whoa, is that enough for your cricket? Oh, take a look inside the very quiet cricket's body. Ah, wowza. There's a whole lot of rice in there. Now let's shake the cricket to hear what it sounds like. Wow. Sounds like that sound. Can you make that sound yourself? Now this sound sure sounds like maracas. That makes me want to dance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the very quiet cricket tried out that sound, but oh, it doesn't like that sound. So we'll have to pour that out, all of that white rice back and try something else. Here we've got something else, which is pasta. Whoa. And it's special because it's dinosaur shaped pasta. That's a stegosaurus. You want to eat some dinosaur pasta? Yeah? All right, open up your mouth. I wonder what dinosaur pasta sounds like. I think that'll do. Open up your mouth wide so the others can see how much you've eaten. Oh, well done. Ate a fair bit. What does pasta sound like? Whoa! It's a more of a hard rock. It's Whoa, this makes me want to dance and stomp like a dinosaur. No wonder, because our very quiet cricket ate 
dinosaur pasta. Bum 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 Sure doesn't sound like the very quiet cricket. No, experiment failed for that one. So we'll put that dino pasta back into the bowl and try something else. Next we've got wall building blocks. Oh, these toys can go right into this cricket's mouth. Now it's an experiment that's only with these toys. You wouldn't want to feed a real cricket any of these foods. Um, 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 um. Ooh. I think that's enough. Let's open up Cricket's mouth to show what he's eaten. Oh! Look at all those colourful blocks inside its body. I wonder what it sounds like. Now that sounds to me like a Rattle, 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 whoa. Now this rattle, rattle, rattle sound sure reminds me of a rattlesnake. Ooh. And makes me want to dance like this, slithering around. Rattle, 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 <laughs> well, well, well. What do you think about that sound, Cricket? Oh, you don't like that one too? Hmm, let's pour out the blocks. You know what? I think I know which sound you like the best. And it's this sound right here. Ah, oh, that sounds like you. Chirp, 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 chirp. You try making that sound at home with your mouth. Chirp, 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 chirp. Let's hear it again, Cricket. Yeah. Chirp, 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 chirp. Yeah, that now sounds like what the very cry Cricket would sound like. Oh, you know, it's great to try out different sounds with your mouth and also to hear different sounds with different materials. Try them out so that you can find your own voice too. Now that we know the Cricket's favorite sound is a chirp, chirp, that makes me want to jump. Ah! Until next time, Cubs away. Ah.